BSOP Hip Hop and Wrestling, how you doing? Last night on SmackDown, AJ Styles had to go through three men on his quest to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. Oscar crashes Bianca Belair's party and ruins her day. Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez defend their World Tag Team Championships. And the Tribal Chief returns and humiliates the Usos. We're going to talk about all that in this week's SmackDown recap. Let's talk about the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Tonight, we have two triple threat matches to determine who will be going to the finals at Clash of Champions to face Seth freaking Rollins, who advanced to the finals on this past episode of Monday Night Raw. WWE Hall of Famer Edge makes his way to the ring and he has his eyes set on that World Heavyweight Championship. His opponents, AJ Styles and Rey Mysterio, bell rings and AJ and Rey gang up on Edge to start. All three men trying to get some quick pins. They do some roll-up attempts, all getting two counts. And here's where the match gets creative as they use each other's bodies as weapons and hit some very unique three-way maneuvers. Very, very impressive. Edge knocks Rey Mysterio out of the ring so he can put his focus towards AJ Styles. AJ Styles hits Edge with a vicious clothesline and then sends him outside of the ring. Rey Mysterio makes his way back into the ring and uses his quickness to his advantage on both Edge and AJ. Edge tries to go for the spear but gets countered by AJ and Rey. Edge picks up Rey and throws him into AJ Styles. Mysterio hits the Frankensteiner on AJ. AJ is down. Rey hops on top of Edge. It looks like he's going for the code red and he nails it. What a maneuver. Rey gets the two count and Edge goes back outside. AJ throws Rey Mysterio under the bottom rope right into Edge's clutches. And then AJ hits a running drop kick through the ropes, causing Edge to hit Rey Mysterio with a DDT at the same time on the floor. Incredible. When we get back from commercial, AJ and Rey Mysterio are on the apron exchanging blows. All of a sudden, here comes Edge out of nowhere with a double spear to the outside. AJ Styles and Rey Mysterio make their way back into the ring where AJ Styles gets Rey in the calf crusher. Ray does not submit, but here comes Edge putting on the crossface, and now Ray is in two submission holds at the same time. Edge lets go of the hold and starts hitting AJ Styles with vicious headbutt. While AJ and Edge are exchanging blows, Ray Mysterio is on the top rope and he hits a double Frankensteiner, sending both AJ and Edge into the ropes. Ray signals to the crowd that he's getting ready to hit a huge double 619. AJ and Edge counter, and then AJ is driven face first into the turnbuckle. With AJ out of commission, Edge makes his way to the top rope. Rey Mysterio feels that Edge might want a little company up there, so he joins him at the top. Rey starts to headbutt Edge and get him set up for what I think was going to be a top rope Frankensteiner. I guess we'll never know as AJ Styles grabs Rey Mysterio and hits him with a running Liger Bomb. AJ sees that Edge is still prone on the top rope, so he climbs up and tries to get Edge into a superplex. Rey Mysterio climbs to the top as well, jumps off, grabs AJ from the back, and we get a Tower of Doom. Rey Mysterio goes for the pin, gets a two count, and he can't believe it. I can't believe it either. This match is incredible. Ray gets Edge in the perfect position for a 619, but as he heads to the ropes, AJ Styles grabs his feet and trips him. So now AJ Styles is trying to seize the opportunity and he goes for the phenomenal forearm, but Edge ducks. Edge goes for a spear, but AJ leapfrogs over him. And then out of nowhere, Ray hits the springboard senton, tries to go for the 619 again, but Edge catches him and throws him into the educator submission hold, bending Ray Mysterio like a pretzel. But Edge knows that AJ Styles is nearby, so when AJ tries to interrupt, he gets AJ in the educator hold. AJ gets to the ropes where Ray finally hits the 619 and goes to the top rope. Ray goes for some type of maneuver but doesn't deliver, but that's okay because AJ Styles does deliver a phenomenal forearm and gets the pin on Edge. AJ Styles is going to the semifinals in the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. So who's going to be AJ Styles' opponent? Let's find out next in this triple threat match with Sheamus, Bobby Lashley, and the United States Heavyweight Champion, Austin Theory. The bell rings and Austin Theory decides he wants to hang out outside for a little bit. Turns out that was not the best idea as Bobby and Sheamus come out to the ring to gang up on Theory. They beat him down, put the boots to him, and then throw him back in the ring and proceed to beat up Austin Theory just a little bit more before sending him back outside the ring. 
as Austin Theory lays on the outside prone. Back inside the ring, Bobby Lashley and Sheamus want some alone time, some quality time together to beat each other up. Elbows, forearms, power slams, you name it. Sheamus gets Bobby Lashley out on the apron and tries to set him up for the club and blows to the chest, but Austin Theory comes back to the ring out of nowhere and breaks it up. Bobby Lashley collapses to the floor and then Sheamus gets Austin Theory set up and Austin Theory is the lucky recipient of the 10 blows to the chest. Like a runaway train, Bobby Lashley runs over Austin Theory on the outside, picks him up and rams him into the ring post. Sheamus and Bobby Lashley once again are alone in the ring and they start to exchange blows. Sheamus hits the stiff running knee and Bobby Lashley returns with a heavy clothesline. Bobby charges to the corner, but Sheamus hits the double boots to the face. Sheamus climbs up to the top rope, aiming for a high-flying maneuver, but Bobby Lashley catches him and hits him with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Bobby Lashley has his arms wide open. This is not for a warm embrace. He is not trying to hug. He is not trying to cuddle. He is trying to put Sheamus in the hurt lock. But before he can lock it in, Austin Theory returns and hits a drop kick to the face, breaking up the hold. With both men down, Austin Theory sees the opportunity to get the advantage with offense, and that's exactly what he does. Austin Theory with the rolling, what a maneuver on Bobby Lashley, puts the boots to Sheamus in the corner. Theory heads to the outside with foul intentions and throws Bobby Lashley right into the ring steps, hoping to keep him down for a little bit longer. Austin Theory makes his way back into the ring and goes for his rolling, what a maneuver. But Sheamus catches him and hits him with the Irish curse backbreaker. Sheamus looking to capitalize on these rookie mistakes that Austin Theory keeps making. Picks Austin Theory up and climbs to the second turnbuckle with Austin Theory on his back. Sheamus comes down with the Irish curse, but that's not enough to keep Austin Theory down. He tries to go for the Razor's Edge and Austin somehow maneuvers out of that into a roll up for a two count. Sheamus knocks the taste out of Austin Theory's mouth with a big knee spit flying everywhere. And now Sheamus lets the crowd know he's getting ready to hit that bro kick. But Lashley comes out of nowhere with a huge spear. Austin Theory tries to steal the win by sending Bobby Lashley to the outside, but Sheamus kicks out at two. Austin Theory's in shock that his offbeat shenanigans are not working. Theory gets Lashley on his back. It looks like he's going for the A-Town down. But Lashley hits a huge one-arm spine buster and now he's getting ready to put Austin Theory in the hurt lock. He locks it in. Austin Theory tries to reverse the momentum by putting his foot on the turnbuckle. But here comes Sheamus with the bro kick on Theory. Bobby throws Sheamus out to the floor and steals the victory. Bobby Lashley is going to the semifinals to face AJ Styles later tonight, the winner facing Seth Rollins at Night of Champions. Backstage, Adam Pearce meets with Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller comes with a great idea saying whoever wins tonight in the semifinals can be his special guest on his talk show, The Grayson Waller Effect. Back in the ring, we got Baron Corbin waiting on his next opponent, and that is former NXT superstar drafted to SmackDown, North Carolina represent Cameron Grimes, making a SmackDown debut. Before the bell, Baron Corbin grabs the mic and tells Cameron Grimes that he is going to be looking up at the lights within the next two minutes. The bell rings. Cameron hits the cave-in and pins Baron Corbin in three seconds. Big win for Cameron Grimes. Bad day for Baron Corbin. Next up, the Tribal Chief returns to SmackDown for the first time since WrestleMania as they go to the ring to handle bloodline business. Roman grabs the mic and talks about how the Bloodline main evented both nights at WrestleMania. Then he took time to give praise to Solo Sokoa, who stepped up to the plate at WrestleMania and Backlash. Talked about all the problems that Solo was able to solve, but the one problem that still exists is his brothers, Jay and Jimmy Uso. Tribal Chief circles around the Usos with a look of shame and disgust on his face. Roman says, you guys lost at WrestleMania and you thought we weren't going to talk about it? And then you get a rematch against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and you have the audacity to dedicate that match to me? I'm not even a tag team wrestler. And what happened? You lost that match too. All the Hall of Famers in and connected to our family and you embarrass them, you disrespect them, you disrespected me. I want an apology. Jimmy Uso is wondering if this is a joke. 
He has a look on his face like, come on, Roman, chill out. It ain't that serious. We family. But Roman says, no, Jimmy, I'm not playing. This is serious. I want an apology. And then he mushes Jimmy in the face. You can tell by the look in Jimmy's face. He is trying his best to keep his composure. He is holding it back. And before Jimmy can step to Roman, Jay steps in the way and apologizes on their behalf. Jay looks at Jimmy and says, I got this. Chill out, Oose. Jay tells Roman that they're going to bring the tag team championships back to the bloodline. Roman says, yeah, about that. I got some news for you. Paul Heyman, the wise man, also the lying liar who lies, informs the Usos that yes, the tag team championships will be coming back to the bloodline, but not with the Usos. No, it's going to be Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa taking on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at Night of Champions. Solo Sokoa, Paul Heyman, and Roman Reigns all leave the ring while the Usos remain. They have been humiliated, they have been embarrassed, and the problems of this dysfunctional family continue. Backstage, Bailey talks about how Damage Control are going to regain the Women's Tag Team Championships, but she does not hesitate to talk down to Eo Sky about her loss at Backlash. The Usos, who are still heated about what happened in the ring a few moments earlier, run into the LWO. They exchange insults, and it looks like we have a tag team match scheduled for next week. Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez defend their tag team championships against Damage Control. Raquel and Liv get the advantage early. And take a look at who's watching from the back. Recently drafted women's NXT tag team champions, Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Dakota hits a big right hand on Liv Morgan and knocks her loopy. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Bailey follows up with a huge clothesline on Liv. Liv and Raquel make a comeback with Raquel hitting a huge double choke slam. And then Raquel uses Liv's body as a battering ram and then tosses her directly into Bailey. Liv Morgan gets Bailey on the top rope to go for a superplex. Bailey's able to slip out while Dakota Kai makes the blind tag. Dakota goes to the top rope and hits a beautiful doomsday stomp, and it looks like she's favoring her leg. Bailey tags back in and orders Eo Sky to cause a distraction. Unfortunately, miscommunication leads to Bailey knocking Eo Sky off the apron, and Bailey gets rolled up by Liv Morgan for the one, two, three, and the look on Bailey's face says it all. Dissension in the ranks of damage control. Backstage, Sheamus is getting a pep talk from his brawling brute brothers, and guess who they meet? Pretty Deadly, who were also recently drafted to SmackDown. They exchange words, and it looks like we're going to get a matchup between the brawling brutes and Pretty Deadly very soon. Tonight's show is live from Knoxville, which is Bianca Belair's hometown, as she comes to do a hometown celebration. Her family are in the front row. We got the carpet in the ring. We got the balloons. We got the double pyro. What possibly could go wrong in a WWE superstar's hometown? Of course, I'm being facetious. Here comes the Empress Asuka to the ring. Last time we saw Asuka, she was defeated by Bianca Belair at WrestleMania. But tonight's a celebration. She extends her hand. Bianca's pretty hesitant to shake her hand, but Asuka tries to hype up the crowd. Once upon a time, these women respected each other, but that respect is no longer there. Asuka sprays the poison mist in Bianca Belair's face. It's sizzling. The retina is burning. Bianca is screaming and shouting like it's a horror movie as Asuka prances around the ring, dancing, smiling, cheesing, kicking. The ref and the trainer try to give Bianca a towel. What's a towel going to do? She doesn't have shampoo in her eyes. She has poison mist. The poison in the mist, in the eyes, in the face. Next up, we have our main event, AJ Styles versus Bobby Lashley in the semifinals of the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. The match starts off with a cat and mouse game with the physically imposing Bobby Lashley trying to corner AJ. The almighty Bobby Lashley gets AJ in the corner and starts beating him down with elbows and stomps. Tries to pick him back up, but AJ brings the fight right back to Bobby Lashley. Styles goes for the Irish whip, but Bobby Lashley is too strong and tosses AJ outside. The outside is where Bobby Lashley is the most dangerous as he rams AJ into the apron and then rams him into the ring post. AJ is not going to win this match based on power, so he's going to have to resort to plan B, and plan B is taking out Bobby's legs. AJ gets him in a calf crusher. Bobby's able to power his way out of the hold by ramming AJ's head into the mat, but AJ goes back to the legs and gets Bobby down on one knee and then hits a DDT. 
for a two count. Bobby hits a big flat liner on AJ, tries to go for another maneuver, but AJ gets out and hits the running elbow. Keep in mind, these men have wrestled once already tonight in intense matchups. They must be exhausted. Bobby Lashley wants to put this one to bed and tries to get AJ Styles in the hurt lock. He locks it in, but AJ Styles, aware of his surroundings, makes his way to the ropes and Lashley has to break the hold. The action spills outside where Lashley sends AJ into the steps. Bobby tries to ram AJ into the ring post again, but he turns out being the one getting ran into the ring post. AJ hits the big insiguri, and this might be AJ's chance to get the victory as he sets up for the phenomenal forearm, but Lashley catches him and gets him in a huge power slam. Bobby Lashley tries to go for the hurt lock again, but to no avail. Bobby sets up to cut AJ in half with a spear, but AJ's able to get out the way and Bobby runs into the ring post shoulder first. AJ hits the phenomenal forearm and gets the pin over the almighty Bobby Lashley. AJ Styles is going to the finals of the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. He'll be facing Seth freaking Rollins at Clash of Champions, and that match should be pretty freaking awesome and i had a lot of fun editing this video so if you made it this far if you're still here with me and you enjoyed this content you know what you need to do you need to like subscribe and share i appreciate you the sop out